Hello and welcome to today's English lesson. So first of all, guys, can we all turn to wave and say a big hello to our friends on camera. Hello. And we'll begin by doing our meditation sequence. So I will sit down, take two fingers, find our heart center, left hand on our laps and close our eyes. When you're ready, guys, you can open your eyes and come back to the room. And next, we'll do our stretch sequence. So let's stand up and push in our chairs. And we can begin with some rotations. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Excellent, guys. Now let's do some stretches. Let's do five stretches to our right. One, two, three, four, five. And then let's do five stretches to our left. One, two, three, four. Five. Excellent. Let's have a little shake, guys. Arms and legs, shake it out. Shake it out. And then let's take our right hand and find our left foot. Now, let's take our left hand and find our right foot. Right hand, left foot. Left hand, right foot. Right hand, left foot. Left hand, right foot. Excellent. And then stand up straight and one more shape. Arms and legs again. And before we sit down, we'll do five claps. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent, guys. Have a seat. So in our previous English lesson, we began learning about a new type of tense that we can use when talking. Can anybody remember what that tense was? Present, perfect, tense. Yes, it was the present perfect tense. And let's write that phrase on the board first. So present, P-R-E-S-E-N-T. Perfect, P-E-R-F-E-C-T. And finally, tense, N-S-E, yes. So all together, guys, present, perfect, tense. Yes, now the way we use the present perfect tense is to talk about something that's already happened but still has meaning in the present. So for example, I might say, I came to school this morning because I came to school and I am still here. So that has relevance in the present. That's how we use the perfect 
present tense. And in the previous lesson, we learned how to construct affirmative sentences, which is to say things that have happened or we have done. And when we constructed them sentences, guys, there was four main groups of words. Can anybody remember what the first one was? Beginning with S. Subject, yes. When we want to talk about an affirmative sentence in the present perfect tense, the first thing we need to do is we need to describe who it is. And that's what we mean by subject. So subject is the first word. And then, depending on the subject, we have a choice of two words. We use one or the other. Has or have, yes. What we have to do is we have to use has or have. Now, we're not sure yet which one to use. We're only sure once we know who the subject is. And then after has and have comes... Verb. Yes, the important verb word. Now, when we talk in the present perfect tense, because we are talking about events that have already happened, we use the past tense form of the verb. For example, I would not say talk. I would say talked. I would not say play. I would say played. We need to use the past tense form of the verb to talk correctly in the present perfect tense. And then after the verb, the activity. We talk about the verb and then we use the complement or the activity. So A, T, T, I, V, I, T, Y. These are the four groups of words we use to construct sentences in the present perfect tense. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to give one of my students a pen. And then they will come forward and first of all, I will write the subject. And depending on who the subject is, our students will then have to choose words that they can use to construct the rest of the sentence. So first of all, guys, let's say I need a subject. And I suppose the best subject to start with is when we talk about ourselves. So I could use the subject, I. Now let's see who can come forward and construct the rest of this sentence for me. And the first student to have a go, I think, will be Lakau. So Lakau, come and join me at the front of class. Now if we talk about ourselves in the present perfect tense, would I say I has or I have? I have, I have correct guys, well remembered. So Lakau can now write the second word, I have. And now, we need to think about the rest of the sentence. So, Lakau, can you think of a verb word? What have you done? I have played. So, Lakau will now write the next verb word in its past tense form. P-L-A-Y-E-D. E-D. So, we need E-D. Excellent, Lakau. So, now you can see we've gone from play to the past tense version, played. But now we need our activity. What, what, what have you played, Lacko? Volleyball. Okay, so volleyball, V-O-L-L-E-Y-Y-B-A-L-L. -L -L. And then how do we finish our sentences, guys? What comes at the end? Full stop. Not question mark, that's for the questions. So you can see, Lakau has correctly constructed an affirmative sentence in the present perfect tense. So Lakau, can you say? I have played volleyball. So all together, guys, I have played volleyball. Following the structure, subject, has or have, the verb word, and the activity. Lakau, that was brilliant. So a big round of applause for Lakau, please, guys. Now let's see who can do another sentence, but this time we're going to change the subject. We've already looked at I, now let's look at something else. But we don't know his name, so we will say he. 
Okay? So now we start the sentence with the subject he. But who can come forward and complete a sentence for me? And now the pen is with Bangpon. Okay, Bangpon. So come and join me at the front of class. And we can all help Bangpon do it together. So guys, if I've written the subject he, would we say he have? He has, you see. We have to change it. I have, but he has. Excellent, Bangpon. Now let's think of a verb. How about if we eat food? If we eat food already, we, what do we say? Eaten. Excellent. So it's E-A-T. And then for the past tense, E-N. Now let's think, what has he eaten? Noodles. Okay. So noodles is N-O-O-D-L-E-S. Perfect, bang pon. And don't forget, we finish our sentence with full stop. Full stop. Perfect. So now bang pon has correctly constructed an affirmative sentence in the present perfect tense. Ready, bang pon? He has eaten noodles. Perfect. All together, guys. He has eaten noodles. You see, every time, the structure is the same. Subject, has or have, verb, activity. Bang pong, that was brilliant. Big round of applause for bang pong, please, guys. <laughs> now, let's do one more together. But this time, we're not going to talk about a boy or a girl. We'll talk about one of our pets. If we talk about cats or dogs or chickens, we don't say he. We don't say she. What subject word would we use? It. Correct. We would use it. Now, let's see who can correctly work out the rest of our sentence. So who can go next? Let's see. We'll have one more student. And now Nadia can have a go. So Nadia, come and join me at the front of class, okay? So now we've got our subject, it. Would I say it have? It has, correct. You see, depending on the subject, we have to choose have or has. It has. Excellent. Now let's think, what has it done? What verb can we use? Drink, okay. So if we're going to say drink in the past tense, drunk, we change the I for the U. So, D R U N K. Drunk. Perfect. Now, what has it drunk? What? Orange juice or water or milk. Remember, it's a cat. So, we'll say it's a cat or a dog. Milk. I think milk's better for a cat or a dog. So, now the activity is milk. M. I L K. Perfect, Nadia. And don't forget your full stop. Well done. So you can see, we can even talk about animals and pets. So ready, Nadia? It, it has, has drunk, drunk milk. milk. An affirmative or positive sentence in the present perfect tense, always following the same structure. Subject has or have, the verb word, and then the activity or the complement. Nadia, that was excellent. Big round of applause for Nadia, please, guys. Okay, so that was a recap of the previous lesson when we did affirmative sentences in the present perfect tense. Can anybody guess what we're going to do today? If in the last lesson we did affirmative sentences, positive, today we're going to do negative. negative, correct. And to do a negative sentence, it's very easy. All we need to do is add one word. And we add the word here. So here we will have another word, and that word is not. All we need to do to change a positive sentence or affirmative sentences into the negative 
is add the word not between has and have and before the verb. I have not played volleyball. You see how we change it quickly from positive to the negative? He has not eaten noodles. It has not drunk milk. So by just adding the one word, not, in the correct place, we can change it from a positive sentence, something we've done, to a negative sentence, something we haven't done. Guys, that was brilliant, very well remembered. And what we've got now is a PowerPoint presentation for our students to practice speaking and also how to construct the negative sentences in the present perfect tense. So let's all turn to look at the TV screen, please, guys. So let's take a look at our PowerPoint presentation, present perfect tense, negative. Yes, so today we're going to learn and practice how to say sentences about things we haven't done or haven't happened. And that's what we mean by negative. We use the present perfect tense perfect tense to talk about past actions that are still true. So the present perfect tense, things that we've done already but are still true now. We use the words have or has and the past participle of verbs. So there, once again, guys, you can see the subjects that we use with the words have. I have. You have. We have. They have. But if the subjects are he, he has. She has. It has. And if we know the name of the person or their job title, like John, teacher, net, we also use has. And then the third thing, the verb, but always in the past tense. And then finally, the activity or the complement. And today, we'll add an extra word, and we already know what that word is. For negative sentences, we place the word not before the verb word. Yes? So remember that structure after has or have for the negative sentence, not, and then the verb word. And you can see here that there is a way to shorten the phrase. Does anybody remember something called contractions? When we take two words squeeze them together to make one word. For example, have not can be said as haven't. Has not can be shortened to hasn't. All we do is we delete the O from not and add an apostrophe where the O is supposed to be. So have not can be shortened to haven't and has not can be shortened to hasn't. And let me show you closer. You see? Contractions. Take the two words, has not, and make them into one shorter phrase, hasn't. And then, have not can become haven't. For contractions, we use the apostrophe to replace the letter that's been deleted. In this case, the O gets deleted. So, we use the apostrophe in its place. Now, let's practice some sentences. I have not read a book. You see, the man is watching television. So, I have not read a book. You have not gone to school. Where are they? 
playground. They don't look like they're in school. So you see the negative sentence is to describe things that haven't happened. You have not gone to school. And the word not always comes before the verb word. Next one. We have not played sports. What are they doing in the picture? Reading a book. Are they playing sports? No. So we say, we have not played sports. The negative sentence. Always using the word not before the verb. They have not finished their work. You can see, they're still working in class. So not finished. She has not listened to music. Yes. She's at the cinema. She's watching a movie. So she's not listened to music. He has not watched a movie. What's he doing? Listening to music. Yes. So he has not watched a movie. And if we talk about animals or pets, like we said earlier, we use the subject word, it. It has not drunk milk. What's it doing? Sleeping, yes. So it's not drunk milk yet. Maybe when it wakes up, it will want to drink milk. If we know the name of the person we're talking about, we can say, John has not walked to the shop. What's John doing? Riding his bicycle. So he's not walking, he's not walked to the shop. So remember guys, to change the affirmative or positive sentence to the negative, just add the word not in front of the verb word every time. Any questions? Okay, well done guys, that was great. Welcome back to class. We hope your students enjoyed the PowerPoint presentation to understand and practice speaking of the negative sentences we can use in the present perfect tense by adding the word not in front of the verb word. And coming up, we've got a board exercise for our students to practice writing and speaking. But well, first of all, guys, it's time for our stretch sequence. So let's all stand up and push in our chairs. And for this sequence, we'll have a game of teacher says. So listen carefully. If teacher says, we can do. Okay? If teacher doesn't say, don't do. So touch your knees. Teacher says, hands on head. Touch your knees. Teacher says, touch your knees. Teacher says, arms in the air. Teacher says, turn around. Teacher says, back the other way. Teacher says, jogging on the spot. Teacher says, arm side to side. Arm side to side. Teacher says, arms forwards and backwards. And stop. <laughs> Teacher says, stop. Teacher says, stand on one leg. Teacher says, hold your knee. Teacher says, wiggle your foot. <laughs> Teacher says, stand up straight. Teacher says, stand on the other leg. Teacher says, push your foot out. And teacher says, stand up straight. Teacher says, into a ball. Five, four, three, two, one, jump. Teacher says, jump. Excellent, guys. And teacher says, please sit down. And what we've got now is a board exercise for our students to practice constructing, writing, and speaking sentences, negative sentences, in the present perfect tense. 
So similar to the previous exercise, I'm going to begin by writing a subject on the board. And then I'll invite a student to come forward and write the sentence in the present perfect tense. And remember guys, this time, always to use the word not. So that's what makes it a negative sentence. So let's see. Okay, let's use a different subject. In fact, let's talk about us. Let's talk about all of us together. We. Okay. So remember, guys, this time there's five different words we use. The subject, has and have, then always use not, because that's what makes it negative. And then the verb and the activity. And the first student to demonstrate how to do it this time will be net. So net, come to the front of class, please. So what we've got now is we've got our subject, we. Now, if we're talking about we, we have or we has. We have. We have. So net, you can write the word have. H, A, V, E. Well done, net. Now, very important. This is what changes it from positive to negative. What word comes in now? Not. Always use not to make it negative. We have not. Now we need a verb. So I don't think we've been for food yet. What will we say about food? Eaten. So we have not eaten. E A T E N. And then what have we not eaten? Food. F O O D. And full stop to finish. F O O D. Excellent. And then our full stop net to close our sentence. Brilliant. So net has constructed a negative sentence in the present perfect tense. Ready, net? We have not eaten food. And now all together, guys, we have not eaten food. By adding the word not in front of the verb, we change the positive sentence to a negative. Net, that was excellent. Big round of applause for Net, please, guys. So teachers, you can see the activity that we're doing in our classroom. Now, you can pause the video and do the same activity with your own students in your own classroom. And remember, each time, change the subject to start the sentence and get another student to come forward and complete their own sentence. And the rest of class can help, of course, with spelling and grammar. So now, we're going to carry on playing here. But first of all, I need to write the next subject. So we've had we, she. Okay, we've had he, so now we'll use she. H-E. Okay, so now let's see which student can come forward and construct a negative sentence. So let's see who hasn't been yet today. I know. Two. Come and join me at the front of class, please. And what we're going to do, we're going to help you construct a negative sentence. So the first thing to think about, guys, if we're talking about she, she has, well done, down. Same as he. We used he has earlier. Now, she has. So, two, our second word here, we need has. H-A-S. Okay, so we're getting there. She has. And then what's the very important word for the negative sentence? Always not. So now, she has not. O. T. Now what has she not done? Who can think of a verb? Yes, read. So the past tense of read, like the colour, red. So next word is our verb word, R. E, A, D. R, E, A, D. The letter D. Excellent, you. She has not read. Now, what has she not read? A book. Yes, because books are what we read. So now the activity A for A. And then book. B, O. Oh, okay. 
and then finish with K and full stop. And then just a little full stop there too, and you're done. Excellent. So ready together, teacher and Chu. She has not read a book. And then class together, she has not read a book. So you can see, just by adding the word not before the verb, it changes the positive to the negative. Chu, that was brilliant. Big round of applause for Chu, please, guys. And now, before we move on to our worksheet exercise, we'll do one more together. So can I think of a subject that we haven't used yet today? Yes, we haven't used that. H E Y. Okay. So now we've got the beginning of the sentence. Let's see what student can construct the sentence. So it's they. How about Pakung? Come and join me at the front, please. So remember, the first thing we need to think about, if we're talking about they, they has, they have. Well done. So A, V, E. And then for the negative sentence, the important word, not. N, O, T. Now I'll give you the verb, watch. How do we say watch in the past tense? What letters do we add to watch? ED. E so not watch, we say watch the. Okay, so. H E D. Okay, they have not watched. So we've got our verb. Now the activity television or TV. So television. L E. V I S I O N. Perfect, Pak Bung. And well done. Full stop, too. So Pak Bung and teacher will say they have not watched television. And now the class together, they have not watched television. Present perfect tense, negative sentences, just by using not every time. Pak Bung, that was excellent. Big round of applause for Pak Bung, please, guys. So now that we've got our three examples on the board, let's practice saying them together. We have not eaten food. She has not read a book. They have not watched television by using not every time but before the verb word we change a positive sentence into the negative guys that was excellent very well done <laughs> and now it's time for our worksheet part of the lesson so teachers make sure each student in your class gets their own worksheet and what we've got today is we've got a series of negative sentences but teacher has typed them in the wrong order. We've got all the words, but in the wrong order. So what we want our students to do is using the structure that they've learnt about already, is get each of the words and write them in the correct order underneath, in the spaces provided. And important to remember, they will only need each word once. So instead of listened, have I to not music, our students have to put them in the correct sequence using subject, has, have, not, verb, and activity. And give our students around 10 to 12 minutes for this activity because there's several different sentences. So what's the first thing to do, guys? Names on top. And teachers, just monitor the class, help our students with anything they need. So lack out for you. Bell, here's I'll yours. You You're welcome down for you. You're welcome. Chu, this one's for you. You're welcome. Nadia, you're welcome. Pakbong, you're welcome. Annette, you're welcome. So names on top first, guys, and then have a look at your sentences. All the words are jumbled up. Can you put them in the correct order based on the sequence that we've learned? Subject, 
has, have, and then not, verb, activity. So the first word to find in each sentence is your subject. And then after that, has or have. This is a good way to get our students used to writing the correct structure. So well done, Nadia. Nadia's got the first two words. So what you can do, after you've got the words, you can just cross them out. So what's the most important word for the negative? N-O-T, not. So I have not. And then after not comes the verb word, such as eaten, read, <coughs> watched. Can you find the verb word in sentence number one? I have not listened. I have not listened to music. And it follows the same format every time. Subject, has or have, not, verb, activity. Well done, Phil. Excellent, well done, Dan. You see, guys? Good to see you understand the structure every time. The words might change, but the structure stays the same. You have not played with your friends. Excellent, Pak Bung. Well done, Phil. She has not. She has not. Yes. And eaten her lunch. Remember, eaten is the verb and lunch is the activity. She has not eaten her lunch. Welcome back to class. We hope your students enjoyed the worksheet exercise where they had to put the sentences, the negative sentences, into the correct word order, following the structure that they've learned already. My students here all did an excellent job. And before we finish, we're going to practice speaking the correct order for you. So here we go. I have not listened to music. You have not played with your friends. He has not drunk water. She has not eaten her lunch. It has not slept all afternoon. They have not gone shopping with mom. And the last one, Mandy has not watched the new movie at or in the cinema. Yes, you can use two words for that one. And guys, that was brilliant. Very well done. And that's all we've got time for today. So we hope you've enjoyed the lesson and now understand how to construct negative sentences in the present perfect tense. And we'll see you again soon for the next lesson. So can we turn to wave and say goodbye, guys? Bye-bye. See you again soon.